Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from ICM. This plastic is molded in 148 scale and it copies Junkers 88 and this time we have C6 version, so it's a World War II German heavy fighter, twin engine of course, and now we have a chance to check it closer. That's an actual, I would say, commercial sample, so you will get the same kit as what we have here and it is already available for sale. Let me remind you first that we are still getting money for the new camera and you can help us too by pressing the donate button on our website. It is easy because it's done via PayPal so it's safe as well and of course you decide the amount we will get from you and be sure all this money will be used for new photo and video equipment which will improve photo and video quality of course. As you can see box is quite large but I would say size is not surprising because we saw previous Junkers 88 uh, kits from ICM in 148 scale. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Also on the side we have some information about the kit. So I will just focus the camera so that you can read it together with me. Uh, there are 225 plastic parts. Wingspan of the assembled model will be equal to 418 millimeters. Length of the model will be 302 millimeters. And here we have short history note about the real aircraft. So as you can see, to me, box arrived slightly damaged. But I mean, damaged is just because here we don't have enough glue. But otherwise everything should be intact because it's a typical ICM box structure. So we have this flexible color printed top section and then we have this sturdy white cardboard box which should protect everything what is hidden inside. As for the plastic sprues, they are traditionally packed into one plastic bag. On the bottom of the box we have assembly manual which we will check uh, in the end of this review. And now I would like to start with plastic parts. As you can see, we have even transparent parts inserted inside, even though they are at least secured with separate plastic bag. And I would like to start with them, why not? I mean, those are looking good and of course it is quite interesting to see them closer. So here you can see them and again of course here we have all necessary clear parts for the model. I'll focus the camera so that you can see these parts in a more or less clear way. So here you can see all canopy parts. Of course some of them won't be used because they're designed for use with different version. And molding quality looks quite fine. I don't see any possible problems. The only thing you will need with this is the mask sheet because masks are not included into this kit. And you will have either to cut them or to buy from some aftermarket manufacturer. Then I'm opening another plastic bag. Here we have this new canopy part which is designed specifically for C6 version. As you can see it's slightly different and again we will need masks here as well because even for this part there are no stickers included. Next we have first grey plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to engine gondolas and as you can see we have here similar parts division to what we saw in the previous kits. So we have here propellers, landing gear wheels, note that each wheel should be assembled out of two halves, uh, then each engine gondola should be assembled out of two halves as well, so be careful with this. And I'm not sure if these are broken parts or actually um, it should be like this. I guess they are broken because of the uh, excessive damage, so be sure to check them. Or maybe they are not, because as far as you can see, no, let's say the lineup is absolutely similar on all parts. So give me a second. I'll show it to you in a minute. So here it is. As you can see, we have here a quite uh, similar gap. So uh, and my guess is that it should be like this, but we will see it in assembly manual. Note that we have a, um, uh, also position elements here which should help you with alignment. Here we have position pins, here we have slots for those. Uh, then for landing gear wheels, those have special recessed or raised uh, surface, which will help you align two halves together as well. For propellers, we have three attachment points, but they are placed in the, let's say, root of those parts. 
so I guess it will be difficult to damage the pieces but note that attachment points are placed still are placed on the blades so be careful while separating them next we have another plastic screw this one is dedicated to large fuselage halves as you remember this is a 148 scale kit so in assembled state it should be quite impressive I would say. Note that of course both halves are molded without any tail segment because uh, it will be assembled separately and attached separately. Here we have wing roots molded together with uh, belly of this aircraft. Here we have tail wing parts which should be assembled out of two halves. Here we have separate uh, elevators which should be assembled out of two halves. Here is some uh, cockpit uh, detailing or parts which should be inserted inside this aircraft. What I would like to show you is what we have on this fuselage half. As you can see here we have antennas on the belly of this part. So be careful while working with these parts because it will be easy to uh, let's say break them and then you will have to fix it somehow and it's not that easy task as it might seem to be. Here we have separate plastic screw with various antennas and nose parts. My guess is that this one won't be used here because this one should be you know, used for the night version but we will check it in the assembly manual. Here you can see another one. Um, the most interesting part in my opinion is this machine gun. Uh, elements as you can see they are quite detailed and let's not forget that this is out of the box standard plastic detailing so you won't have to resort to any resin upgrades. Then we have another plastic sprue with engine gondolas. I will focus the camera once again so that you can see it. As you can see it is quite detailed I would say uh, but as far as I remember this one won't be used because we have here large propellers but I might be wrong now uh, we will see further in the um, review. Note that one part broke off. I don't know why, <laughs> what happened with it. Here we have another plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to wing uh, mechanization. Also we have here landing gear legs here. Here we have cockpit seats and I would like to show you closer the landing gear legs which were quite impressive I would say. So here you can see them. Really nice detail and out of the box. And I hope they will be uh, tough enough in order to survive heavy load of this large aircraft. Then we have two absolutely identical plastic frames with engine parts. As you can see both engine gondolas will feature or will house the engine inside. It is quite surprising I would say for plastic kit. Not that many manufacturers actually include such detailed engine out of the box. It's nice to see it here. And last but not the least is this plastic sprue. You can see it easily even out of the focus. Those are wing parts. Wing parts are molded without wing mechanization as I said before. We have here also various detailing molded in. Those are recessed panel lines, riveting and various hatches. Inside we have position elements because those are really big parts. Here you can see comparison with my hands. So you will need those position elements because otherwise it will be tricky to combine them together. And as I promised, last but not the least, is this assembly manual which is printed in form of color printed brochure. Short history note on the first page, some technical specifications, paints chart. Then we have parts map. And note that actually we will use these propellers with white blades, so I was wrong. And here we have decal sheet, which is printed in very nice quality I would say. We have all necessary symbols. I don't know yet how many marking options here, but we have also decal for the dashboard, which is a really nice bonus to have, especially if you consider absence of the uh, PE parts. Note that one of the sprues is included, the one where we had antennas, only because of this part. All other parts will go into your spare box. And the assembly process starts with right fuselage half. We continue with cockpit. Then we join them together, we assemble the belly part, we install it into the fuselage, wings, tail wing, 
Also here we have landing gear system, engine gondola and the engine which will be inserted inside. Then installation of those gondolas into place. Um, landing gear system, nose section. And in total you will have to perform 96 steps in order to have such detailed aircraft ready to be painted. Then here you can see stencils application guide and here we have marking options. Here you can see two of them. This one was uh, uh, Junkers from ZG26, Mediterranean Summer 1943. Here we have Junkers from the same unit and the same year, but this one was in the summer, this one was used during whole 1943 year. Here you can see other two marking options. This one is uh, from KG40, which was flying in France, Lorient. And here we have also Russian aircraft, I mean, which was operating in Russia or USSR. It comes from KG76 and it was flying in Taganrog during fall of 1942. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I will remind you that this kit is already available. You can get it in any good model shop. For example, Model MX should have it for sure. I recommend to check their website. Of course, don't forget to write your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.